Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. For those of you that are returning subscribers, ah, you look absolutely dashing today. That's right, a random compliment, as always. And for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome, I'm Johnny Mac. Now, today we're gonna try to keep this as constructive and short and sweet and to the point as we can. I'm kind of giving you guys a PSA on using your transfer tokens. Now, whilst the transfer tokens are a great idea, there are some fundamental issues with the server transfers. And what I mean by this is just a few days ago, we had a server that was merged into ours and as trying not to sound <laughs> critical or negative, some of the companies that came from that merging server were uh, a bit elitist and very toxic. And the entire community of my original server all agreed. Now those companies caused a huge stir up and eventually what happened was is that uh, just about a day, day and a half ago, they all decided to just up and leave. Now, you know, there's a lot of theories as to why exactly they left, but it doesn't really matter. The fact of the matter is, is that it exposed a very inherent flaw with transferring servers. And what I mean by this is, if you transfer from a low pop or a medium pop and you transfer over to a higher population server, what we have found is widespread reports of very high queue times to get into OPR. And I have a little illustration that I'll pop up here. We're talking in the hundreds over 40. Now, for those of you that are familiar with OPR, you only need 32 to actually start the OPR pop. However, the problem with this is, is that with the next patch coming out, hopefully next week, where we'll be able to get new BIS gear and we're gonna be getting shards, you wanna be able to take advantage of OPR as much as you possibly can. Now this creates an issue. If you have, you know, 100 in queue over 40, what happens is, is that as soon as you get in, you know, you might be waiting for an hour, then as soon as you get in, you got another thing, you know, maybe, 20 to 40 minutes depending on how the OPR goes and as soon as you get out you're immediately in another queue so what this means is, is that you're not going to be able to continue to run OPR over and over and over and over again I myself I practically live in OPR I think my company mates could attest to that I live in OPR and if I had to sit in a queue for an hour just to get into OPR I would be pretty upset because I personally I try to avoid the PvE dungeons like the Plague. I don't really like Mutators. I mean, they're okay. They have their advantages. I do them if I have to, but I really love OPR and I love Wars. And that to me is where it's at. And of course, Wars don't happen but every two days. And granted, you know, if the whole map is in conflict, you can have Wars to sign up for. But my time personally is at a premium. So I have to be picky and choosy as to which Wars I sign up for. But OPR is a major part of the end game now with this next update, because for those of you that don't know, you will be able to get, once again, you'll be able to get BIS gear from the crates, and you'll also be able to get participation shards, whether you win or lose. If you lose, you get 50. If you win, you get 100. So, you know, it's a pretty good deal for something that is free to participate in. You don't have to buy anything unless, of course, you use food or, you know, uh, incense, honing stones, whatever. You know, it's, it's to your heart's content. But what we end up with now is you know some people have two free transfer tokens now what i mean by this is that if you did not use your first transfer token in the store it only shows one but you actually have two if you use the one another one pops up to take its place so for those you know who are thinking about transferring you kind of have a safety net there but for those who had already used their first transfer token they are now stuck on a high pop server and some of these high pop servers such as eden and Uron, which is where a lot of these companies transferred from my server to over to that one, they are now faced with large OPR queues and they're faced with actual queues just to play the game. And it's, a it's kind of funny because they, uh, under the guise of, well, we want more competition, we won't be able to play the game. Now, all of a sudden, they can't play the game. So I just wanted to put out this PSA to you guys to be leery. If I were to express any type of warning it would be let the dust settle for a little bit wait until after the content patch next week hopefully we get it next week that way we can kind of get a general idea of what the real population is going to be like because i have a feeling that this next patch because of how the end game content is changing how they're making these changes to opr it's going to bring some of the population for your server back now unfortunately for those that are on extremely low population servers 
it, maybe it's a good idea maybe that for you to transfer over to maybe another medium pop server you know just kind of check out the populations see what's out there but i would highly recommend not transferring to a high population server because you're liable to not be able to play the game at all we actually have one person who was a former member of our company transferred over to Uron and now they want to quit the game because they actually can't play the game now <laughs> so just a little psa guys i hope that you enjoyed this content if you found this content helpful and you want to see more videos from me or you want to see my streams i stream over at johnny mac games on twitch and i also do periodic streams here on youtube so if you like this video smash that like button also don't be afraid to hit that subscribe we're going to be hitting 1000 subscribers soon and i hope that within the next couple of months we will be pushing to 2000 subscribers that would be fantastic so as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the new world <laughs>